Our mission is to intake wildlife that are injured, ill, orphaned, displaced, or in some other fashion in distress and in need of care. We provide that care, species specific. If we can't provide it, we transfer them to a center that can. The mission, care for the animals, get them back out into the wild where they belong. The other part of our mission is to educate the public on how to live with wildlife. Mostly just to kind of foster, you know, compassion and interest and a, a willingness to try and live with the wildlife instead of trying to control it. Our education team will go off-site with the education animals and they are all volunteers. So those, they travel around, mostly Snohomish and King County, but we do schools and fairs. Our volunteers do a lot. Uh, we require at least 70 volunteers a week to do what we do. Those tasks include um, the daily cleaning and feeding of the animals, helping to restrain the animals for treatment, um, helping with the rescue and the release of the animals, um, enrichment, uh, food prep, laundry. Laundry's a big one, laundry's nonstop, dishes are nonstop. The volunteers are the ones who do those things. Without them, we couldn't keep up with the number of animals that we have. SARVI is a 501c3, which means that we're a tax-deductible organization. Last year alone for our medical supplies, we spent uh, over 19000 and it, it is a significant amount of money that goes into saving each of the animals that we do save. Monetary donations are always greatly appreciated, but a lot of people don't like to give money, or if they give money, they would prefer to do so to a specific project, which we welcome. Uh, we have a bobcat enclosure we need to build. We're currently in the process of building all of the new flights for education birds so that they can all be moved out front. Gifts of fuel cards is phenomenal. It'll go straight to the ambulance. I'm here for the animals. It's about every one of the animals that we care for.